Hello, my name is Dr. Erica and I'm here to teach you how to make a uh, tumbler with sparkle on it. The first thing you wanna do is take some electrical tape and you want to um, put the electrical tape on the ends, both ends, all the way around so you have a nice line and make sure you leave a little tab so it's easy to take off. Um, then you wanna spray your tumbler with something called Loctite 100 Light. You can buy it on Amazon. So you buy the 100 light, you spray the entire thing. Make sure you're wearing a mask and that you're in a well-ventilated area so you don't get any chemicals. Uh, you're going to spray it all around your tumbler evenly and you are going to then put, place your sparkle. Make sure you use the plate underneath and you're going to catch the sparkle so you can reuse the sparkle. I used to do the layers of sparkles so it would be look like this. This is another one where I put sparkle the same color all the way around but I had tape prior to spinning it. You're going to want to buy a a turner so that when you have eventually have your epoxy that it it continues to spin until it sets. The next thing you want to do after you place your sparkle is mix your resin. You need two resins, okay? One is the um, activator. So you need two. I like this brand because it doesn't smell um, and has less of an odor. Uh, make sure again you're in a well ventilated area and that the temperature is between 65 and 75 degrees because too cold or too hot will not let it set. What you wanna do is, as well, is you're gonna mix the two, you need an even amount. So I use the syringe. Um, you can buy these um, on Amazon as well in a package of with the cups. You're gonna put them each individually, the two parts into two different cups. Make sure you use the same amount. I use 20 milliliters. Um, that's, And then I'm gonna mix them together and for two to three minutes, you're gonna stir it. I poured them into one cup and then I poured them into a third cup. And then you're gonna continue to turn for about three minutes, okay? Once you see no longer, you no longer see streaks, then you can um, start to apply your resin epoxy onto your tumbler. The first thing I like to do, I always wear gloves because then it's really, really hard to get, the, um, to get it off your hands. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this glove because it has a little resin on this hand and I don't wanna get it on me so I make sure you have a lot of gloves I place um, I did a layer of sparkle I put a layer of the epoxy then I put a um, a vinyl thing that I made on my silhouette and you can see here you can make different things I applied my my vinyl and after I'm gonna do a second layer so I already did it and I waited 24 hours to set then I placed my vinyl and the third thing I'm going to do, the last thing is my last layer of my epoxy. Uh, remember, um, put it on on a very thin layer when you're applying your epoxy. As you can see, you wanna do it nice and even going all the way around. And make sure you have an area where there's a mat underneath. As you can see, I have a mat right underneath because Right after I apply my epoxy, I'm going to put it on the turner so that it can evenly set. And you want to put it all the way down to the end. You want to make sure that you're covering your, your vinyl. And the reason that you want to put a second layer of epoxy is, number one, you want to set your vinyl that you placed, but also as you can see, I used a much thicker uh, sparkle towards the end, the, the, the darker blue, and it's a little bit on the rough side. I did sand it down with wet sandpaper, which you can also buy on Amazon, but uh, you really want to get that second layer. Some people actually do a third layer of epoxy, but I'm going to try to just do two layers and hopefully that will set it so that I can have my mug. So you want to evenly set it all the way around. Try to get it all the way, a nice thin layer. Try to uh, obviously get it all the way to the end. And the reason I have my electrical tape is so that it doesn't get on the metal nice line that I had set the first time I put the epoxy because I want to see that nice clean line where and you can feel with your fingers, and that's why it's nice to do with your hand. You can feel the where how much you're putting down on the tumbler, and 
you want to try to do a nice thin layer so that it's not going to drip and pool. The next thing you want to do once you've gone all the way around and you've really put it nicely all the way around on your tumbler is you want to make sure once you put it on your turner, you're going to need to turn it. After about five minutes, when it really, five to, to 15 minutes, once it sets, you may want to get a blower, a heat blower, because if there's any bubbles, you can make that heat blower, take those bubbles out, and I'll show you that, that you can also buy on Amazon. You can buy anything on Amazon these days. It's, it's amazing. And they'll drop it off right in your house as you're ordering it. They, they even know what you're ordering. They'll send you an email and they'll say, hey, did you forget this? Even though you didn't even, you didn't even think about it yet and they know what you want to order. It's just amazing. So nice and evenly all the way around. And sometimes people need to do a third, but still after you place this last layer and it's nice and smooth, if you feel that it's not smooth enough, you can do a third layer. That's really up to you. And I can feel that I might need to do that. But let's see what happens after the uh, it goes on. And you may want to have some paper towel on hand if you need to, you know, clean up your hands or or the edges or whatnot. So I have an and I have extra left over, which is fine. But I'm gonna take my thing out, put this on the side. And I'm going to place my tumbler on my rotator all the way in so it's nice and tight. Oh. I'm going to have to take out the glove. Excuse me for just a moment because, and you see, you need something for the dripping. And the epoxy is super, super sticky. So you want to make sure that it doesn't get onto your hands. But I clearly got a little bit on my hands. And I found that using a... There we go. Nice and smooth. And I'm going to turn on my twister. And I'm going to try to make sure that it's nice and even. Again, you want to make sure that you have something underneath. You have plates all around, you have paper towel, and this way you can try to make sure that it's nice and even. And this looks amazing. Again, Depending how you want it to look in the end, you may want to do a third layer and that's okay. And I'm going to set this and I'm going to let it sit here. I'm going to go work out for about an hour and then I will come back and hopefully the resin has set. And then at that point I could take off the electrical tape because it'll still be a little soft and then it'll still, it won't drip onto that because it'll set, it won't drip onto my nice um, perfect line that I had going. And you see how my, it's tilting slightly. Um, this rotator that I have here is not my favorite. It's, um, I also bought it on Amazon. I may need to return it and buy another one because as you can see, it's tilting down, it's tilting up. Just make sure you find one that's nice and secure. I know some people buy footballs from um, the dollar store and put it on the end. You can use PVC piping and make your own and rotate it yourself. Some people do that, as you can tell. Just might be this little piece of tape that I might need to turn a little bit. I just wanna make sure that it's nice and smooth. Okay. So the reason that you're rotating, because it's still going to drip, and as you're rotating, the dripping will make it fall evenly on your tumbler. But 
Thank you for watching and I will return once the tumbler's done.